how can you get your MailChimp campaign data into a Google Sheet? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how to build an app script that connects to the MailChimp API and pulls the campaign information into Google Sheets so you can analyze and visualize it. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and on this channel we do marketing tech reviews, how-to videos and tutorials just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now pulling all your data together so you can analyze and visualize it in one tool is sometimes really hard to do. Now as you might know, I'm a big fan of Google Sheets because it lives in the cloud and we can connect to different tools to pull the data in regularly. But unfortunately there is not always is a direct connection between the tools that you want to get the data from and pull them into your spreadsheet so you can analyze them. And this is where App Script comes in. Now App Script is like VBA for Excel where you can write a little bit of JavaScript and pull the data in from the various sources. So lately I've gotten a lot of questions how you can pull data from MailChimp into Google Spreadsheets. So I asked my friend Ben Collins, who's really knowledgeable in App Script, Google Sheets, but also data analysis, to come up with a solution here for us. Now you can check out his stuff at his YouTube channel, Ben Collins, but also at his blog, bencollins.com. And today Ben is gonna show us how we can build a little bit of an App Script to pull data from the MailChimp API and import it to Google Sheets so we can analyze our campaigns there. We got lots to cover, so Ben, take it away. Hi everyone. This is Ben from benlcollins.com and today I'm going to show you how to bring your MailChimp data into a Google Sheet using their API. So open up a blank sheet and then rename it to MailChimp for this project. And then what I'm going to do is set up uh, the headings in the sheet. Then we'll open up the script editor and start writing out the code. And then we'll jump into MailChimp to get the, the API key that I need and come back to the sheets to finish it all off. So that's the strategy. So in the interest of time, I'm just going to copy in these headings um, from another sheet that I've been working on. And I'll just show you when I uh, what they look like. I'm going to wrap the text there and send them all. So these are the details, the data that I want to get from the API. For example, when the, when the campaign was sent, what the title was, the subject line, how many recipients, uh, the clicks, the open rate, that sort of stuff. And then, and then finally, actually we can calculate these two. These are going to be calculations that we're going to use then to create a chart showing the performance of all the campaigns over time. That's the idea with this analysis. So let's go and open up the script editor. So I come to tools, to script editor, like that, that opens up. You can immediately just clear out the code that's there. We don't need that stuff. And again, let's just rename this project MailChimp. And then I'm gonna start by just creating the necessary API key and list ID that I need to, to then uh, run all my code. So let's just for the moment put these in and then we're gonna actually retrieve them from MailChimp. So I need an API key and then a list ID as well. So we're gonna go into MailChimp now and get those two. So open up a new tab, open up MailChimp, log in, and then I want you to use a profile. And under extras here is this tab called API keys. And then you come down here to create a key, click that. It's gonna create a new key for you. And it'll be this new one at the top here. So let's just click that one and let's rename it to be MailChimp Sheets or some other name. And then it's ready to use. So what we're going to do is copy that key there and insert that in between these two little hyphens here, which gives me my API key as a text string ready to use in my uh, application here. Now it's really important that you don't actually give this out to anyone, which is why it's blurred on my screen right now. You won't be able to see that one uh, because anyone who has that API key can write a little bit of code then to actually uh, infiltrate your email list and, and delete subscribers or add subscribers or send out spam campaigns. So it's really important that only you have access and only you see this API key. So don't share that around. It's perfectly okay to have it here in your code, but don't save this code, for example, uh, onto the web without removing your API key first. Now, the other thing we need is this list ID. So let's go back to MailChimp. Uh, let's go to the menu here to lists. 
So navigate to your list and then click on your list here, open the list up and under settings, you'll see this one list name and default. So just click that. Uh, and then here under list ID, you'll see the list ID here, this one here. So we're going to need that number as well, but that's just very easy to get under, under list settings. And I'm going to just add that in there. And that's me ready to go now with the two pieces of code I need to, to make this function run or this, this application run. So what I'm going to do now is just actually create a function. We're going to create one function initially that just uh, retrieves some data from the API. I'm going to take a look at it and see what we get back. And then from there, we can start to actually build out the analysis that we want to do. So what I'm going to do is just actually uh, move to the compact controls here. So we get a bit more space and I'm just going to copy in some code there. So you'll see just underneath the list ID, I've copied in this code, just some comments to start with, then a function called MailChimp campaign, where I specify the, the root of the API and then the endpoints of the API that I want to access. And then this is the really important one here is the parameters I need. And really just the important one is this API key here. You can see that what this does is when we request the data from MailChimp, we pass it the API key that we specified up here at the top. And that's what allows MailChimp, well, that's what lets MailChimp know that we're a legitimate application and, and we're okay to receive some data from them. So let's just put this in. So what this is going to do is call the API uh, and then and then just pass the data that's returned and then we'll be able to display that output here in this logger file. So you know, this logger function. So let's just close that function off, hit save. And then what we want to do now is run this function called MailChimp campaign. And it's going to ask us for permission first because it hasn't done this before. So we need to access our data. Let's say review and it wants to connect to an external service. So that's fine. We'll click allow. If we come up to view the logs, we should see some stuff in there. So let's click that. And there we go. We can actually now see this is what the MailChimp API has returned to us. Uh, you know, it's obviously a lot of data. It's kind of difficult to read in this format, but you can see if we look in a little bit of detail, there's things like there, for example, send time. As a next step, let's just go ahead and get the a little bit of the campaign data that we actually want. Uh, and just again, we'll just log it. So first of all, I'm just going to say, find out how many campaigns we I have. Um, and then also, I'm just going to extract all the subject lines from those campaigns and display them. So let's run it. And let's view logs again. And there we go. So this time 27 campaigns and you can see you can see the, the subject line of the different campaigns I've run. So so it looks like that's great. That's working. That's now pulling out a specific piece of data that we want. Um, and that's exactly the sort of data that we're going to now put into the Google Sheet here. So what I want to do is um, just put the word try up here and all of this stuff here. I'm going to just tab in, which will just just moves indents it. And then we're going to do a catch. And this catch is just uh, the real way we should be making sure that we catch any errors. So we, we try this and if we fail at some point with this um, fetching the, the API, we'll, we'll get an error message and, and we'll log the error message to make sure that we're, we know what's going on there. And so instead of all this stuff we were doing here, I'm going to clear that, that bit out and just paste in. It looks like a lot of code. Um, don't worry, it's, it, this code is all available on uh, with some links underneath this video you can click and just copy this in um, and the final the final code is totally is available as well so you can just see how it all fits together uh, but what we're doing here is uh, I'm just creating a blank array with nothing in it and then we're going to loop through our data that we got back from from the URL fetch app so when we call the API we're going to loop through all of that campaign data and just pull out these different pieces of it that we want. So the send time, title, uh, how many emails we sent, how many unique clicks were, that sort of stuff. And put all of that data into an array, um, a special sort of double array, if you like, that's that, that we set up for the work with Google Sheets. Um, and then, you know, if I have some campaigns in there that were, in fact were never sent, they were just drafts, then we'll make sure that we still capture them, but they just have this notation to say that they were not sent. So finally, let's just check. We've got that one there. It looks like we need one more to close that for loop. So we'll just put that there and then we're going to log 
let's just log that um, campaign data and we'll take a look what that data looks like so let's save this file and let's run it and then now when we hit enter you can see these are, it's an array again uh, and then it has an inner array and then the, the zero item the first one is the, my first my very first MailChimp um, campaign and then you can see the second one there and then the third one there you can see and you can see it's giving me all of the details now I'm, I, I've got the the name of the campaign the dates the subject line how many people it was sent to how many people opened it and how many clicks there were so this is looking really good now this is exactly what the data I want and it looks like it's in the right format now to paste into my Google Sheet so underneath what we've just logged that data rather than log it now we'll go ahead and actually paste it into Google Sheets so what I'm going to do is just just copy in again some code here which I'll, I'll talk through now so we're going to go ahead and select a sheet called campaign analysis so we better just make sure we called ours campaign analysis or, or whatever you, you you like as long as it's matching and then we just worked out how many rows of data I have and then how many columns of data I have and then I'm going to go ahead and just actually paste all of that data into the the spreadsheet there so let's just give that a try so I'm going to hit save we're going to hit run it's going to need to have permission again to use the spreadsheet service so we'll click that we'll click allow we'll let it run and let it finish running and then we should go back to our spreadsheet and you can see there now I have a whole bunch of data now in my spreadsheet that that's all uh, real campaign data from MailChimp so that's great now one thing I'd like to do because for my charts what I really want is to have an open rate and a click rate and again what we're going to do is just add a little loop here underneath this one that just loops over the all of the rows I have and just for each row it adds the two formulas to calculate the percentage open rate and, and click rate so let's save that and run it again and then I go back to my sheet and now you can see I have the the percentage rates there for um, open rates and click-through rates so that's great so that's that's my MailChimp data um, brought through from the API into my spreadsheet uh, so that I can now go ahead and actually do some analysis and there is absolutely a huge amount you can do with this API we've looked at just one endpoint there so let me show you just the API documentation quickly and you can see just if I scroll down you can see all of the different endpoints that you can get to so you can go and get some data all about your automations if you want so really there's a huge amount you could go and get from your MailChimp account if you dig into it so I'm going to show you one other example of using the, the, the MailChimp API and this time I'm going to just paste in the whole code in one go we'll run it and we'll see what it does and then we can talk about it um, briefly so I'll create a new sheet and we're going to call this one list growth so I'm going to just paste in the list growth data here and quickly just show you what it's going to do is again it's going to go to the API it's going to use the list ID to identify my list and it's going to just pull out the growth history uh, month by month and put that into a spreadsheet for me and then just before I do that before we run it actually let's just add in the headings quickly so I'll just add those in we'll make those bold centered and we'll wrap them as well just so they stand out okay great so now what I'm going to do is run that and we should find some data filling in here so let's come back to the to the code and this time instead of MailChimp campaign we'll do MailChimp list growth will run and we'll hit run MailChimp list growth that's running and let's go back to our sheets and there we have the data uh, and you can see how much the the list has grown by and what, and what the list values are so that's a really nice another nice example of bringing some data into your Google Sheets now what I'd like to do here is just show you uh, the next step what I did with these was to actually create some charts uh, from this data and I'll just show you that in my finished example sheets uh, which is the one that the template below is the one you can click on and you can go and check that out you can check the final version out so let me just show you that one okay so here's the uh, the MailChimp API data again and you can see it's just all the same data that I had before um, and then I've pulled out the columns I want and just tidied them up a little bit for my charts and then I've gone ahead and created this chart here 
to show the performance of my my campaigns over time. And you can see this blue line at the top here is my average open rate, and then this this orange line down here is my average click rate. So I can see quite clearly how my newsletters, how campaigns are doing over time. So that's one example. And then the other one I showed you was the list growth. So let's see again, same tables I showed you that we just figured. I just tidied it up a little bit, and then I've gone ahead and created this this chart here just to show that monthly growth of my email list. Um, and there you go. So that's a quick rundown of how we might use the MailChimp API to pull data directly into our Google Sheets using some app script. All the code is available to for you to use it by clicking those links below. So that's everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed that uh, lecture and happy data analysis with MailChimp. Thanks guys. All right, so this is how you can pull data from the MailChimp API directly into your Google Sheets via Google App Script. Now, all the links that Ben has mentioned are in the description below. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below because Ben and I are going to try to answer them for you. And if you want to learn more about Google Sheets and Data Studio, then check out Ben's channel right here where you can learn more about this topic. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because we will bring you new videos every Wednesday. My name is Julian. Till next time.